Okay, welcome back for the last uh, set from the round of the top eight. After this, uh, it's through to the quarterfinals. Uh, so excited to see the top eight, man. After this, um, whoever's made it through to the top four, well, um, that's already been casted, um, and the link's in the description. You and Blam cast that, right, Fate? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so you can go see that and continue on. I suspect that most people watching have probably already seen it, but uh, fun fact, I actually haven't seen it yet, so... Uh... You haven't even seen it, but uh, the I, I, I caught you already because you didn't see it, because uh, Bladum, it was Bladum and Argood that actually did that one. Uh, I did. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I got you good. <laughs> so I know, I know um, you don't know the results of these. <laughs> well, thanks for uh, running the tournament, nonetheless. You obviously, uh, even if you didn't cast it, you are running it, so yep, doing that behind the scenes. I was... I was doing the 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 uh, the entire stream and the two hand setup. So uh, I like the match that we have uh, that we we're going to be doing because it's uh, two two of my favorite players. Yeah, uh, just because they have two different play styles. I go ahead. No. Uh, you... uh, all right. Yeah, we got we got Solifid versus humans. Uh, Solifid, I'm sure everyone's seen a ton of his games, but uh, you know. Being a good player, we're going to see him a lot. Uh, so we got his Lionar and Vanar, whereas Humans is going to be on uh, Vissian and Magmar. Uh, they know each other's deck list, so I'm curious to see if Humans will go with the Abyss against Vanar, because I would say that the Abyss would have a better matchup. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think um, when I look at Solifid's decks, I'm always really scared of this Lionar deck, and I think that um actually it's quite good against the uh abyss deck the, the the abyss deck has like some um i mean i think it can get ground down by shadow novas but it, it is difficult the the good news about the magma list though that humans uh if they choose to run it is it's got this twin fan combo and um you know sometimes you just pit them for so much damage they just can't heal through it yeah, and uh, we we did make a mistake last time with the Twin Fangs combo with uh, Prophet, which I'd like to mention, uh, because... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, it is it is nice to see those type of interactions that you normally don't see uh, happen on the ladder. It's just a very rare situation where stars align, and it's like, wait, you can't... That's not lethal. Uh, but the Twin Fangs combo should, uh, I guess, uh, help a lot. Uh, but it, it's just... um. I think the the major part with this event is that you get locked in your faction. So, like, say say if uh, humans does go with the abyss deck, uh, and then like uh, Solfid goes Vanar, then then humans is locked in uh, abyss. So then Solfid will bring the Lionar, the Lionar counters it, uh, and then then you switch to Magmar, and I think the Magmar has a good matchup again. Like, it, it's it's. It's kind of one of those things where you kind of try to beat the opponent at this the character select screen, and I and I really feel like uh, going abyss into uh, the Vanar would be the great one because I feel like Solifid always goes with the 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 Vanar first, right? It's usually his go-to. Yeah, he does like it, uh, Vanar main. I don't know if he always goes it, but uh, yeah, I'd say it's his preferred choice. Yeah. The, the Lionar is kind of there to counter whatever, you know, his opponents will bring to counter his Vanar, but, like, Vanar is always the tried and true, always known him as a Vanar yep, player, definitely. even though he plays a bunch of factions, but, uh, but do you want to delve a little bit into the decks? Or, uh, well, there know? is one fun thing I wanted to mention about okay. the Lionar uh, against the creep list that could happen, um, mm -hmm. is when Sulfid's running Auswin Lawmaster, it's possible to beat the creep at their own game uh, by stealing the Shadow Novas and then dispel the enemy creep with Lightbender in this slow grindy game. It's not yeah. that unreasonable. Yeah, you would you would want to have a, a Void Pulse to cover up the Shadow Nova, knowing your opponent runs Lore Masters. Like you would have to play Shadow Nova at eight rather than seven just to cover it up, so like stuff doesn't start to shit doesn't hit the fan because like. On seven, they go Nova. On your seven or eight, you can go Lore Master. If it's eight, you can go Lore Master Lightbender, which is nuts. <laughs> like, just I'll dispel this and I'll take the Nova. So, 
uh, I can I can counter your Nova with a Nova and with all the healing and stuff involved. So the Lioner definitely looks like it just destroys creep. Like it's just designed to do that. And it feels like that's just Solifid covering his weakness in his Vanar deck. Because I feel like the Vanar is weak to uh, Nova, especially with no yeah, healing. I can't speak too much on the Vanar list. I'm not. Well, I haven't been playing too much uh, Vanar during the test periods, right? So, you know, I think they've got a couple of good cards, obviously. And Solifid's obviously going to be playing it really well. Um, and honestly, I'm hoping we see it, um, cause you know, I'd like to learn from it. Uh, so if it's the, the best yep. to teach us. Yep. Look forward to it. Yeah. Let's hop right in. Yeah. And we are seeing him on the Vanna. All right. Let's go. That opening hand though. I mean, I'm actually, uh, against, against Magmar, I think that Cryo isn't as useful, right? Um, doesn't doesn't really because because obviously the magmar minions are sticky. Like I'm gonna look over at see what in the magmar. I guess popping like a vindicator, yeah, uh, would be good, but not worth it to hang on as turn one. Snow chaser, I guess, is the only real play here. Yeah, I think in this situation, I just drop the two mana guy. It's fine. Oh really? Yeah, like the opening gamut's really powerful, but um, missing the mana efficiency in the 1-1 one, one in stats. And uh, if you could just wait till next turn and deploy your Snow Chaser directly to infiltrate, um, especially as player 1, it's pretty easy to get infiltrate. Yeah, and uh, the the list that humans has is Blood Tier, so it could also just get popped too. So having a sturdier minion would definitely be better. Exactly. Don't want to just lose the the annoying factor of the snow chaser where it doesn't go away. I know those things. Whenever I play against them, are just a dispel magnet. Like I literally just dispel yeah. it. I'm like, I hate this thing so much. Uh, so Mogwai, uh, two five for uh, three is pretty good. Like just 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 decent stats. Hard for uh, Venar to actually kill that too. It's not at that sweet yeah, four. Yeah, five HP. Yeah, five HP is definitely one of those critical uh, health uh hp points where it's just like this thing lives basically everything early game not even early game it survives a holy emily too <laughs> yeah so, so we're gonna see the snow chase come out yep and uh shot shot by the elemental yeah, and it makes that 5 HP uh, easier to handle, down at 3 now. Especially early on, just sending out a 2-5 uh, is fine. You, you 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 get you get a pretty big body on board, and uh, you know, you're not skipping your first turn. Yeah. You can tussle I am, with these minions. I, I am super glad that they buffed it to, like, a viable card. <laughs> like, it, it felt pretty weak, uh, the old, old game. It looks like a heal. Going into the uh, the mystics, so uh, is he going to deal with the elemental? Nope, just put stats out on the board. Not being able to deal with that glacial elemental is a bit scary. That card can get a lot of work done. At least with all humans uh, minions having three HP, they're um, not the ideal breakpoint with odd amounts of HP. Glacial elemental will be slightly overkilling them, uh, wasting some of its damage. It might matter, but I think so if it's going to just be able to play a bunch of Vespers, uh, or maybe just fire off, yep. Hoping to get another Snow Chaser. Yeah, they had an interesting choice if they wanted to play the Snow Chaser before they moved and have it infiltrated or something on the mana tile. Uh, then of course, if it hit the... One and three where I hit the young Sildar and then they're wasting some damage. Um, they didn't fancy that, so... It, it could and have... with all the cards in the hand, actually, the infantry... Yeah, it the... didn't feel good. Even if it pops the egg, you're just like, damn it, did not want that to happen. So just just in terms of uh, making sure that most of the minions are off the board and you're getting optimum use out of the elemental mm. uh, line of play was that. Yeah. Uh, no, um, no bone chill, though. That's a thing I would always fear. Whenever my opponent would have an elemental out, is just getting bone chilled, and uh, 
just my board being deleted. Five. Yeah, yeah. Five mana again. Even. Even with a bunch of. Go, go ahead. Just. No, I was gonna say even with a bonjo, it only gets three procs off that. I suppose they could also play something like mm -hmm. that as well, uh, or if they from last turn. Yeah, so maybe they could add quite a few, but um, and again, humans just not able to deal with this glacial elemental. I don't know. I think just filling the board with stats kind of like negates the fact that you know elemental prefers like one target with a lot of hp rather than a bunch of little things and you were mentioning that three health point means that it's got to swing twice like to do the uh the two damage so i mean yeah but it's gonna get off so many shots <laughs> just it's you just hope it shoots the right thing man oh man it's got four or five shots i'll oh, hit that too oh solifid really wants us to hit the mystic the, yes, there we go. <laughs> now we're in infiltrate. If it had hit the other mystic, he could have uh, chosen to uh, send the snow chaser down to uh, finish it off, which might have even been better than that. As is, I think humans is finally going to be able to deal with this elemental. It got off like five or six shots. That's good value. Yeah, way way too many shots that that card needs to go in the moment it's it's summoned to the board. So Solifid, uh, just free value. I mean, just playing a minion and doing two damage is, is just huge. I would say it's like... A, it's probably Venner's like strongest... Uh, like it, It's kind of a snowball mechanic. Like, they just... Mm. You know, if it's there, it just snowballs into their favor even more. And it's just hard to crawl your way back after that. Which is kind of funny that it's a snowball, because it's got a little ice blaster <laughs> gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I assume that's what they're shooting out of it. Uh, so it's finally gone, and uh, humans now got a pretty big board disadvantage they're going to have to deal with. But it is magma, so maybe they can do it. Uh, need a harvester. Harvester would be nice. Just another mogwai. Looks like Twin Fangs is just not in the. Uh... Like humans, his hand's actually pretty pretty low. Normally, when I when I see Magmar play, they usually have a full hand of cards. So it's kind of crazy that just pumping out the minions, but no uh no harvester. I feel like harvester would have been like no flash harvester or any like maybe he's holding off. Maybe he's waiting for uh the walls to show up to play the harvester. Like the walls are so key. If you have a turn where you can't deal with them, Solifid's got that Razorback. Yep. Uh, at least Humans is on a pretty healthy life total, but it's always a bit risky. It can quickly change. Yeah, it does run the sphere, so it can just basically negate an entire turn worth of damage. Oh, Solifid looking at a bunch of damage to his left, but also has damage. Can, can kind of like uh, uh, provoke it up with uh well but now humans is at that point where war beast is going to be a factor but looks like we're just going face and then turn into a mountain nice so that'll get rid of almost everything yeah i think that was just a bit too much uh stuff to uh not deal with like if you let it start hitting and um clearing your board it's a bit well, too much and not only that the, the twin fangs too could also be a problem right because there's a pretty greedy line of play where you try and uh, uh, save it for the perfect snow chaser plus aspect of the mountain timing. But um, I think it's prudent just to uh, deal with the situation there. Uh, I love I love how the bear is just like out of position. Like it's just chilling there. So Warbeast can't like slap it. Uh, and you also have the heart sister to pull it back in. So like it's, it's just, just a threat that's just looming. And I'm sure humans knows about it. There's that. There's that sphere I talked about, just basically reversing a turn's worth of damage. <laughs> it's actually got more health than he started when I mentioned it. Yeah, that's uh, interesting, because uh, a lot of the time I feel like Rejuvenator sort of stole his job, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. But uh, it, it is still a good card. Um, 
you know, when it does its like thing undoing like a whole turn worth of damage, especially against burn decks, you know, and your opponent was relying on you being low and killable, and you just completely undo that. Thirteen HP is pretty low in Duelist. Once you're HP, you can die surprisingly yeah. quickly. I I remember I used to have like a uh, a chart that would say like what's the max possible amount of damage uh, a faction can pull off on you based off how much mana they have, and then like. Once it gets to nine mana, it's just like, like Songhai can do like twenty five damage. <laughs> like it's just like <sighs> you could just die, <laughs> like based on like what exact card you have. So humans has a harvester here. I think uh, it'd be in a good spot. Yeah, if they've been saving it, now is the time. It would be really strong. Plays three of them too. Uh, doesn't look like it. Maybe War Beast. I don't know. Not yeah. Sometimes you just don't draw it. Yeah, it's I, it's nuts. Especially uh, humans been replacing every turn to you. Yeah, I'm curious how many wolves they'll be able to destroy. It really does matter for the uh, attack on this bear. Something like a Hearth Sister, uh, Bone Chill, Razorback is uh, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Yep. I think it's War Beast. Oh, no, Harvester. Actually, interesting spot that he chose for the Harvester. I would, I would like to see it maybe placed a little bit closer to uh, Soul of it. Just to threaten that five damage, but maybe maybe uh, humans is thinking, well, maybe you'll uh, you'll hit it with a god. Now I can't remember the name of the spell, uh, cryogenesis, and then the general punch. But honestly, I think that would be very good because it, Solifid's deck doesn't run any healing, so if he's got to use his uh, his, his uh, general to swing uh, to remove stuff, I think that's you know in your favor. You know, all the damage sticks. Spirit Harvester is just too important in this matchup, I think. I can understand why they've put it uh, away. I, it, it's more of like, I would expect an aspect or something like that to mm -hmm. hit it. So, like, if if they have the crappy clear, which I would say would be Cryo, Cryo, and general punch like that would be fine the aspect they can't even clear it they can't do the uh my one of my old favorite combos that uh banner used to do would be aspect into uh into dancing blades i always like that combo that is not an option All right, so now the half sister comes in to clear out that spirit harvester. So different, different type of clear, but that five damage stuck. Yeah, and as you mentioned, solar fit doesn't have any healings. It's in it's very interesting, like uh, having all the deck lists, and then you look through everything, and you're like, everyone runs healing except solar fit. <laughs> that is like. As we were saying at the start, like Solifid's Vanner list, uh, you know, is is set in a way, but then the Lioner list is like healing, 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 healing. So it's like, okay, this deck can only do so much, and then the other deck is like, I heal forever. Uh, so I think War Beast right here would be the uh, the play. Yeah, the good news for humans is he can just walk away from these walls. The yeah, double Razor back in Solifid's hands, which could be really scary. I know that. The the thing the thing that I'm thinking about is if you got War Beast, I would actually think about uh just clearing the stuff in the top right corner, just leaving the bear down there. Because I would always fear of the um, the what is it Drugger Lord? I would always be worried about that. So I'd kind of play like this matchup of I don't want you to have anything left on out on the board. Or the the lowest amount of minions you do have silhouette tracer. Okay, oh, I so. think that silhouette tracer is respecting that. I like this dragon lord. Just uh, get out dodge. Yeah, that is that is nice. I uh, that that's a really nice line. I do like that. 
I think though that your line of clearing it might just be better. I was, I think, the fastest I've ever seen Solifid move a unit in my life. <laughs> the hard sister is just like, you move from here to here. Now I'll think about my turn. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> he replaced into it. Oh. At least I'll get rid of the War Beast. Yeah, it is important to get rid of the War Beast, especially at 9 HP. Need to make some space and clear off their threats. And Solifit is going to be able to make a lot of space. There's a lot of uh, HP now between uh, Fae and Veth. Where's the Plasma Storm? <laughs> but his Magmar doesn't run it! <laughs> it's such a good card! <laughs> they just don't run it anymore. They have so many good cards they can't even run Plasma Storm. <laughs> it hurts. It's exactly the problem, right? Like, <laughs> Spirit Harvest is so good at 5 mana slot, and Metamorphosis is as well. Um, yeah. The combo. The combo is just too strong. It's so good. Well, now, now imagine the previous play, if humans actually cleared all those walls, I think it would have been much easier. Uh, well, Metamorphosis. Do we have the, the Harvester too? No, no Flash. Oh, okay. That's a good... I uh, guess that is a good reason to run Blood Tear. So you always have, like, a remove anything. Yeah, I, I think Blood Tear is sort of even good by itself, but... Definitely nice. I, I, I look for it as compost. As as a vet player, it's just like that. Just blood tear doesn't do it for me. Um, and also, actually, uh, on the mention of blood tear, it's actually pretty cool in the Twin Fang list. We saw uh, Jay do some uh, secret combos using blood tear just to ping his own stuff and get a little extra damage out. Oh, nice. Especially if you have a Kujata out, I'll kill the blood tier, give you a ping, and then ping something. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> just, just getting strong. Uh, it should only be one extra damage most of the time, but you know, sometimes that one extra damage actually matters. Actually, what the hell happens to... what? Like, it, it was... What, what minion does this turn into? From the metamorphosis. Uh, no, it's, it's interesting. It's definitely oh, going to turn don't... back into the two sevens, and they don't. Oh, um... and then, and then no, and then they're permanently yep, the two sevens. Yep, yep, I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> what the heck? That's a really interesting interaction, and uh, pretty, f pretty in Solifid's favor. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, humans probably knew when he was casting that, but um, it's not uh, super common. I wouldn't uh, necessarily think of that, and I wouldn't blame him for being surprised. Uh, there's now these permanent two sevens. That's a lot of HP. Yeah, the the walls the walls just became two seven drops instead. <laughs> ah, finally. Magmar has a weakness. <laughs> transforming into transforming. Yeah, and this position's really bad as well. They're stuffed up against the wall. Oh, second meta. Well, at least that'll deal with the provoke wall. Yeah. But... No, no flash. There was, there was only one flash played so far. There's a rejuvenator that you were mentioning before. Running basically four rejuvenators because uh, the, the heal. Yeah, I love this little army of uh, little Grimblies with their like pumping their arms up and down. Dude, they're they're flexing, <laughs> man. They're flexing on humans because they know that they're gonna surround uh. them in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> the only downside is to remember what where what is what. We just know that that that's a line of gravity wells. Yeah, and there's still the two seven drakes above uh, that, and I wonder if it tells you when you mouse over it. What it's gonna... Yep, it does. This. Oh, it does. There you go. Good job, devs. Make sure all the information is there for the players so they don't have to guess. Not No discoverable bullshit. <laughs> oh, look at this. 
this swing play. Okay, it looks like Solafit is okay with the. Uh... Oh, is that lethal? Are you... I don't think that was lethal, right? I think it was, but even if it wasn't, you're kind of down at that point. Yeah, I guess upset uh, not seeing a flash McCanter or flash uh, Harvester. It looks like Solifid was able to kind of bait out that Harvester a little early, and uh, humans had to jump the gun because it really wasn't much of a good clear play. I think the, I do want to say, I think the mistake that match was basically uh, humans deciding to not clear the walls and then kind of apply pressure onto Solifid. There at the end, even though we said it was a good play with the uh, the silhouette tracer, imagine how how the game would be completely different if the war beast cleared up the walls in the top right corner and there was just a bear out on the board. Yeah, so, I think you're great, exactly great right. match for both players. Yeah, great match for both players though. It's nice to see that there's like one crucial turn that could have like swayed it, and you know you see the one path, and then you can say what if the other path. So great, great match to watch. Thank you. Good GG.